Hello everyone, welcome to week two. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick overview of what we need to do this week. Uh, first of all, thanks for all the participation in week one and for you all seemingly getting uh, a good uh, use of Mural. Uh, hopefully there are some, uh, there's some learning curve to Mural, but I think you guys have uh, been able to uh, express yourself pretty well. And uh, due to all the discussions that are going on, I really appreciated that uh, you guys put a lot of thought into uh, week one's content. Uh, I will tell you that we're starting with a very conceptual uh, starting point, and I think you all picked up on that pretty, pretty well. And this week we get right down into the nitty gritty details. So that being said, let me take a look uh, at the modules for this week. Make sure you start here, read up on what we're uh, what we're tackling, and that is going to be getting some content to start with. So we're talking the very bottom of the pyramid. We're just talking about getting some data. Now there's some techniques. Uh, there's a an overarching uh, thought here is that this data is everywhere. Every internet page pretty much consists of some regular, uh, repeatable bunch of data. So you can either go out and find it, or you uh, can use our um, tool that we're going to use this week called Airtable. So go ahead over to Airtable and take a look there, sign up and uh, get used to that tool, which is just really a very, uh, I'd call it a data driven uh, Excel. Like it really is very uh, good with data. So um, I think you'll find if you have any uh, experience in using uh, any kind of a, a so uh, uh, spreadsheet software that it'll come very easily to you. And if you don't, it, it actually will help you as well. So it's a really um, nice tool. So take a look at the content here. Uh, we do have at the end of this week, we have our first uh, project, which is to uh, share that content with me and share it with others. So uh, that uh, link to your Airtable will be really the deliverable for this week. Uh, you can also share it in progress so you can get feedback on it. Uh, so if we go over to the exercises that are gonna help us uh, in Mural, uh, it's going to be right here. Uh, one thing I'd like to start with is just to understand what data types are. So once you get some data, uh, a lot of it not may or may not be understandable or useful to you, but that's part of this week as well. So right here I'm looking at an analysis of what consists of a tweet. So if you've uh, been to Twitter, uh, we're going to take a look at Twitter this week. We're going to use that as sort of a basis for here's a great, uh, incredible source of data. But what is it other than necessarily just some content or 144 characters? Uh, to make uh, it even more familiar, if you're not familiar that much with Twitter, I just put an example here about uh, iTunes. So it's the same thing. You've got an MP3 file. What are all the data pieces that you need in order to uh, contextualize and be able to manipulate that file effectively? So that's here on the right. So what I'd like you to start with is go to Twitter and search for something using these other fields, uh, something other than hashtags. And the reason we're not using hashtags is that was, in fact, something that got made up later because the data, um, well, it's, it's again, this is an exploration of how do you uh, categorize data itself? How do you find things in data? So I'm not going to spill too much of the beans other than to try to find something without just using a hashtag. Um, later on, you can figure out right now the examples that you're going to see for me came from me trying to reorganize data concerning perfume. So I've got a few examples coming up in each week about how I found this site. I didn't think it was very good. I just like the, the data it contained. So I learned to uh, take that data out of it and trying to rearrange it in a way that's useful. So just uh, same along the same uh, journey as you. And then here I want to know what is it the the data that you find that you find interesting. What's the subject? Uh, what what you know? What is it concern? And I think we'll hopefully find that others are also interested in similar subjects. And then that's how we can also go to try to see bigger and bigger pictures in our data by adding more fields or combining it with others that we can get a more robust uh, uh, data set to work with. So this week it's all about data. Uh, at the bottom here, ping me with any questions. I'd like you guys to get started and to get your feet wet in, in trying these techniques before um, um, we, we might need to meet this week. I, I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. So get started and let me know how it goes.